Here we are, we are at the Bad Blood pay-per-view featuring many stuff. So let's look back at last year's pay-per-view, last year's Bad Blood pay-per-view, just to see where we've been. Okay, pre-show Battle Royal, Psycho Sid won. He's no longer with the company. That's one. Eddie Guerrero versus Owen Hart. Eddie Guerrero is gone from the company, but he will be back soon. That is two. Okay, Mike Mara, <laughs> Mike Barton and Mark Mara versus Val Venus and his then bodyguard who don't have chemistry together, Val Venus and Matt Bloom. I think I said Val Venus name twice there. All guys in the company. This is really the angle that started Mara and Barton's rise. And this time they are going after World Tag Team Champions as upper mid carters. The Rock versus Ken Shamrock. The Rock the leader, the ruler of the nation of domination versus Ken Shamrock. The Rock retains his Intercontinental title. The current Intercontinental Champion is Triple H. Triple H and X-Pac defeated Ultimate Warrior and Goldust. Okay, yeah, this is when they were heels. Okay, I was like struggling there for a second. Ultimate Warrior is no longer with the company and Goldust is written out of storylines as he was fired. Wink. Al Snow versus uh, Savio Vega, who turned heel on Al Snow. Pretty much Al Snow's coming out party. He uh, was taken out by Brian Pillman. There's four guys no longer on it. Stone Cold versus Brian Pillman. Brian Pillman versus Stone Cold. Ends when Brian Pillman wins against Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then British Bulldog versus William Regal for the European title. British Bulldog wins, but he's no longer with the company. It's five guys. LOD vs. D.O. Brown and Ahmed Johnson, Nation of Domination. Bret Hart vs. Mankind. There's six guys. Bret Hart's gone for the title. Uh, and then what I really want to do is this Shawn Michaels vs. Undertaker. That's a Hell in a Cell match. And then when Kane debuted and took out The Undertaker. Now we see The Undertaker vs. Kane in the main event for the title with Stone Cold as a possible entrance. So last week we saw. You know, Stone Cold gets some uh, revenge against the Brothers of Destruction. But really, the Brothers of Destruction cut a promo on Vince McMahon and then beat up Vince McMahon. Uh, he hasn't been seen or heard from since. We can report he's still in the hospital. Uh, huh. We see, and then we got just, you know, that's about it. We also saw Mankind and Brian Pillman agree to last man standing match. So let's go to, I think there's a pre-show match, but if not, let's kick it off. Alright, so we have Gangrel vs. Billy Kidman. Fuck the rating. That's all I gotta say about that. Then we see Too Cool vs. The Headbangers. Uh, the Headbangers are gonna be turning face soon here. So, fair do you guys like to know that. And then Rikishi vs. Bob Holly. Stop. We got a good chemistry. That is good for me. Alright, so the show starts off with a Stone Cold vs. The Corporation. Stone Cold here gets the win in 15 minutes when he pinned Ken Shamrock with the stunner. The main event is official. Stone Cold vs. Kane vs. The Undertaker. From there, we go straight into The Rock cutting a promo on Owen Hart. He will not be turning. And then we get a video hyping it. And then we get Owen Hart vs. The Rock. 23-minute match. Long match. 82 rating. The Rock gets the win here after cheating to win. Pretty much heel versus heel. Uh, you know, I figured it wouldn't get a super rating, but you know what? I'll take it. And it's a long match, so get time. From there, we go right into the Godfather and Dealer Brown versus Un Americans. The Un Americans pick up the upset victory when Dealer or when Lance Storm pinned the, the Godfather. Uh, I got something special for one of these four guys coming up here pretty soon. William Triple H cuts a promo on William Regal, and I believe William Regal cuts a promo on Triple H going to their Intercontinental title match with Triple H getting, holy shit, the win here. Triple H makes defense number two of his WWF Intercontinental title. Uh, only two defenses, that's not a lot, it's not as much as I wished, but that's fine. We go right into Mark Henry versus APA. APA picks up the win here when Bradshaw defeated Mark Henry, clothesline from hell. Uh, pretty much, I couldn't find a partner for Mark Henry, so I figured we'll just have APA win here. And then, that's that. Team Perfect cuts a promo on 
X Pac saying uh the the excuse me, I was looking at the fan that's why I was like uh duh duh duh. They just cut a promo on X Pac saying how the Chris can need to stay in the European champ. I really think these two would be perfect together. I don't know if there's actually, you know, history of these two being together or not. Not in a homosexual way. That's not a homosexual again. Uh, but, you know, these two just look like they belong as a manager type deal. We then go to Chris Candido versus Xbox. Chris Candido wins after Colonel Henne, you know, grabbed Xbox's leg. Xbox turns around. Chris Candido hits uh, Xbox with the Hennig pucks when he turns back around, defending the European title for the first time. Then we go to Marvelous Ones cutting a promo on Road Dog and Batista. I said at the beginning of the show, uh, this time last year, I really discovered that I like these guys and I like using them. So, you know, and here we are a year later. We then see this is a video package showing how the feud started. And stating this will be the last match of the feud. Road Dog and Batista get the upper hand and get the victory here, ending the feud, defending their tag team titles for the second time. We then go to Mankind vs. Brian Pillman, long video package. This will be conclusion of the Brian Pillman feud with Mankind, Goldust, and Asno. So we then go to Last Man Standing match, and another holy shit, Mankind defeated Brian Pillman. When Brian Pillman could not get up from the 10 count. Uh, it doesn't hurt Brian Pillman losing here. Uh, Mankind doesn't need the win, but I think Brian Pillman needed to lose as he has been a dastardly heel. And he's moving on to bigger and better things. We then see a hype video featuring Stone Cold Kane and Undertaker. And right prior to their match. And the match ends with... Kane defeating Stone Cold Steve Austin by pinfall with the choke slam. So the finish would be, you know, Kane and Undertaker are working together, but they're fighting, but they're working together, but they're fighting. Stone Cold would pull out the stunner on Undertaker out of nowhere, and he goes to the pin, but Kane picks Stone Cold up, choke slam, one, two, three. Uh, you know, I figured, you know, better than Kane versus Undertaker, heel versus heel weird double count out thing screw that so Kane defends his title here and next month is pay, uh, next pay per view is Survivor Series to see where we get from that I think this is going to be overall we have the best card I think not the best card but overall quality I think there's this is one of the better pay per views I've ever thrown uh, who did I give the speech to I think I got to go with Triple H. Cause I did not expect a 90-something rating from Triple H. And then Brian Pillman. I don't think anyone has really you know, done more as a uh, competitor than Brian Pillman this year. So it's going to be it for this episode. Uh, we're going to see a... I think we're going to see a debut. This is an upcoming one of episode of Raw. And I think you re guys are really going to like it. And it's going to be something different and unexpected than what happened in real life. But then again, it's going to be much of the same. Thank you guys for watching and have a good one.